be a failure. As long as not gonna kill you, it's gonna make you what? Strong. Man, I love the underdog mentality. That's the mentality that keeps you hungry, especially in business. But in most of the things, but especially in business, man. You know, it keeps you hungry, it keeps you focused, innovative, you know, so you don't lose track of, of what's important. Because a lot of time you get complacent, you know, and that's it. You know, because when there's an up, there's a down. It's never gonna be an up, 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 up consistently. And it's when you're down that you truly are the most challenged and start questioning yourself. Every time something bad happens, you can't help it. At least I can't help it. Back of my mind, it's always like, man, why me? But then I, I, I gotta quickly, you know, correct my thinking because, you know, the, your thinking can pollute your mind and be like, okay, 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 now I gotta come up with a solution. You know, but it's tough, man. Every time you're down, you know, you can have a, you know, when they say when, when it rains, it pours. Man, and it happens. It does happen. And you just got to calm down and try to deal with problems one at a time. But underdog mentality is the best mentality to have, man. You know, because you keep grinding. You never let yourself think that you're bigger than what you are. You know, you always keep yourself, you know, down and, 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 and calm and, and collected. And, and at the same time, you don't, your ego, <clears throat> your ego don't get too big, you know? Um, and that's what the underdog mentality is. You know, it's about to put yourself in check so you can make sure that you stay grindy, stay hungry, you know? And sometimes it has its downfall also. You know, I had an experience where I was talking to an organization and one of the guys talking to was, was arrogant as hell. Um, and, you know, you always think, man, why, why, you know, because, you know, you, you small timer. Oh, we consider small time, which is fine. I don't have a problem with that. I don't care what people tell me. I just hate arrogant people because they just, they make, they, 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 they keep dragging on stuff. You know, they don't, they don't value you the, the same way they value uh, other companies. Um, but anyway, that's not important. It just happened. Uh, but sometimes you think, man, I wish I could bring somebody a big time around just one day, just in front of him and then see his reaction um, and, you know, put him in check. But um, the underdog mentality will get you anywhere you want to be, man. You know, and, and, and that's what it's lacking in a lot of the youth out there. As soon as they get that title, and not everybody, of course, but as soon as people get the title, they have this misconception they've made it. No, you no know, CEO title don't mean shit, man. It's just a title on the on the plate or on the book somewhere, you know, that you register your business. You CEO. You know, I, I never like title. I, I never like title. Even on my business card, I don't put CEO. That's just ridiculous, man. What's that mean, the CEO? You know, just like anything in life, you gotta earn. You gotta earn that title. You gotta earn that uh, that that position that you you know you want to be in. You know you you're not automatically entitled to be a CEO. You gotta earn all those things. You know, and a CEO means a lot. But um, guys, just get that mindset, man. The underdog mindset. You know, don't let your ego get the best out of you, because it's gonna really cloud your judgment. And you're going to st start losing track of what you're supposed to do.